This is the Moog Multi Moog. The synthesizer was produced about 1978. Internet Wisdom states there were about a thousand of them made. So, since I have two of them, this set of YouTube videos is potentially for the other 998 of you who might still have a functioning multi -mog. I discovered a way to make the multi -mog do something that was probably never intended to do. And this little discovery um, greatly expands the range of sounds that you can get out of the thing. Here we go. Special feature of the multi -mog when it was released in the late 70s was keyboard touch. Keyboard pressure could be routed to these destinations and when the force sensor was set to modulation these sources would be applied to these destinations. This is my trick. multi -mog. It has a series of outputs and inputs to create what Moog called the open system. I discovered that the keyboard force output can also act as an input. The secret ingredient to my um, alternate way of running the multi -mog is to use a control voltage. Um, this happens to be a, an old volume pedal that I converted to a voltage control pedal. I got the uh, uh, design for this from an old Craig Anterton article in the February 1981 edition of Keyboard Magazine where, in which he describes how to turn an old volume pedal uh, into a voltage control pedal. It's pretty ugly what I've constructed here but, um, so not elegant but functional nonetheless and a fairly easy project for a guy with <laughs> my skills to uh, do. using the voltage control source to introduce modulation to keyboard touch effects. Waveforms. Sync. Using a voltage control source to introduce modulation to 
keyboard destinations, specifically filter. Waveform of oscillator A. Thank you.